Well, hello again, everybody, and God bless. This is Jonathan Reichel with this week's with Real With God episode, and I'm very happy to say that we have a special guest with us this week, Mr. Gene Meldrum. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. All God right. bless. And uh, Gene, give us a little bit of background. Before we get into some very exciting news, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Wow. Okay, I'm from uh, Muskegon, Michigan. Um, I have been working and fellowshipping in Word for quite a long time with my wife. Uh, we have four children and three grandchildren, and uh, we live up in Muskegon. And we, I guess, make it available to go around and, and minister with music to uh, God's people and, and believers. That's wonderful. And uh, specifically uh, with what you do with music, I have in my hand uh, one of your many CDs. And um, one thing that, that I, I w really blesses me about the kind of music that you do is that it's not just... You know, trying to, it's not trying to get your face out there. It's not trying to, uh, you know, experiment with the art of music necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, although it is fantastic music, um, what I really love and what sets your music apart from so many others is that I found that your music really does have a core message and a core drive and an inspiration behind it. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, yeah, I guess most of what I do, I. I glean from other men and women of God that uh, share the word and teach teach us, and um, um, and I guess every song I guess I'm I'm not it's not like a praise and worship type of thing, but it's uh, the songs are are approached like a teaching, really. Mm -hmm. um, you know they have usually an idea, and um, and I try to you know you can't always teach everything, especially within the, the confines of a song, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I try to teach principle. Um, you know, most of what I do, I think, is encouraging and um, hopefully empowering God's people to live the word, um, to walk the word, and to just love people and to do what God wants us to do, each and every one of us. So the, the songs are more of a uh, deal with messages, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, walking in God's power or loving people or, or laboring with the Lord or, you know, just a, a numerous different subjects. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have to admit, most, you know, I try to stick close, well, try, I stick close to what the Word of God says. And, and a lot of it is inspired from other men and women of God who have shared their hearts and God's heart with me. And then so I kind of uh, help glean some of that out and, and put it out there with a little music behind it. Well, that's fantastic. It, it really is driven by what God is trying to say to people. Mm -hmm. And then you, you find beautiful melodies and, and put that to it. I'm curious, um, uh, looking at your history of music, what really got you into music? What inspired you to pick up a, oh, boy. an instrument and go for it? Well, without making a long story, uh, it, my brothers and sisters and I, when we were young, we sang together. Uh, and we were on the senior citizen... <laughs> track um you know my grandparents they let us sing at their uh their meetings senior citizen meetings and uh we sang for a supper which uh, obviously we were very good at <laughs> we were very successful and uh <laughs> but um that's where it started and, and my parents always encouraged us to sing and to uh and that was f fun and we learned a lot of old stuff you know when a lot of my friends were listening to megadeth i was learning the Kingston Trio because that was my that's who we were singing for so mm -hmm. uh, so we we listened to a lot of things and then we always sang together mm -hmm. and um, but it eventually uh, got to a point where um, I had the heart and desire to to really to minister to God's people mm -hmm. and um, and and God has been showing me and working with me and he's patient you know and teaching me how to do that not just to to sit down and sing a song mm -hmm. you know I always tell people if I want to just sit and sing I could get a gig at a bar but I, I really want to learn how to minister to God's people to listen to God and and you know really reach out and touch people with the right song yeah. uh, with the right lyrics uh, you know so that somebody is getting that need met when I'm doing what I do so it's, it's amazing how much music can directly speak to people's needs and uh, out in culture, I mean, we all have a favorite song. We all have our specific radio station we like to listen to. And I've found so often um, the kinds of music that we listen to really help shape who we are. And because it's speaking words, whether they be encouraging or discouraging or just kind of, you know, garbage, it gets into our minds. Yeah. And, and the words that we put into our minds become our thoughts and they become our lifestyle. And by filling our minds with the word, you get that good fruit. You get those results. 
that, uh, that God wants for us. Yeah. And I know that uh, uh, there are several of, uh, of our viewers and several people that I've interviewed in the past that are excited about getting more into, into ministry-based, God-based music. Mm -hmm. And what would be some of your suggestions to them of, you know, how do you start? What should be your focus? You know, what, what should they look for going forward? <clears throat> I, think, I think the most important thing is to, uh, well, to go to God, and God will show you what you need to do. But what's most important is, is playing and ministering to God's people, whether it's, uh, you know, what, what I've learned is it's whether you're singing and ministering to one or two people, you know, in a small family fellowship, um, is just as important as sitting in front of 200 people and doing the same thing. You know, your heart has to be a heart of service. It's the same uh, with somebody who has a desire to teach God's Word. Mm -hmm. It's the heart of service. A, a wonderful teacher will teach one person. Mm. It doesn't matter who's there. It's knowing that God put you there, so you got whatever chance to bless that person's life and to teach them something. And, yeah, and the neat thing about music is if you uh if you have a melody that's contagious enough and it's loaded with the word of god um you know that that might just spin around in somebody's head maybe more than they even want but you know, <laughs> but at least it's spin around in their head and uh you know and and it's god's word and it, it and uh, it gives them something to lean on when they're you know maybe when they're uh being challenged mm -hmm. with with a, a situation Maybe that song will be the thing that jumps into their head and they think, yeah. well, you know, I'm not ordinary or, or whatever, you know, that song might be. Uh, and that's the uniqueness of music is it gives you the opportunity. You're dealing with more than just words. You're dealing with uh, uh, melodies and, mm -hmm. and uh, the opportunity to touch people at a lot of different yeah. levels. And, uh, and it's amazing how cool. music can stay with you, and I think it's mm -hmm. it's interesting to note that in the Bible, the the, um, the book that God chose to be the longest happened to be His playlist. You know, mm -hmm. the Book of Psalms is all about songs uh, between David and God, and um, I think it's uh, it's really exciting to see how how God is, is is inspiring people like you to really work with music to help get get His word into people's thoughts, into people's minds. And uh, I, I have one CD here, it's the So Much More CD, and uh, there's another one that uh, you, we have with us yep. anyway. I'll, I'll show it. And um, This is our family at Easter. <laughs> so there, there are several uh, different CDs out there. Of course, the purpose here is not to sell CDs. God is our sufficiency. The purpose is, uh, there, it's fantastic music, and if, if you guys are interested in listening to some of this stuff, do you have a website or some way that people yep. can get in touch with you? It's genemeldrum.com. All right, so... Be sure to check out. Be sure to check out GeneMeldrum.com. I'd imagine your discs are available online and mm -hmm. things to listen to. Sure. Um, so thank you so much for oh, joining well, us for this you week. For taking and, uh, some time with definitely me. do take a look at that website. God bless you. This is Jonathan Reichel and Gino for today. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Da 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 da. Yeah.